Hey guys, this is a quick walkthrough of the church and its other variants uh, that have come with my latest release. Um, first of all, you should know if you have my Towns module, the church does come in um, different types of facades. So there's a front facade, which is essentially just the front of the church, and it goes on the edge of a map. It's got a multi-level token hotspot in it that will transport your players to the church and it has um, different themed music that comes out of it as well. So if I um, if we're going to use this church today as our example, this is the Holy Church. Um, we can put a player in front of it. And we'll hear some holy music coming out. And then if we click on that, that player will transport. I'll show you where they end up here in just a second. But we also have what's called full facades for these churches. So there's the uh, the dark church. It's the one that you saw here. It's got a um, more of a somber type of uh, music coming out of it. You got the light church, which we've just uh, put in its place already. These are not actually buildings you can enter in, but they can, they occupy space in a modular town if you are using my module for that. And then you have the unholy version of the church. This is a lot more menacing, decidedly evil, and uh, it's got its own front facade as well. So let's uh, walk through these churches and I'll show you what's involved from a GM perspective. Here we're in the, the light holy church. Our players already teleported in. There's the hotspot they teleport back to the street from. There are walls in place to separate all of the levels. It's connected so that you can have battles across the whole church if you'd like to. Some things that are going on here, there's FX Master to cause the uh, weather in the other churches, the weather changes, there's crows and bats, things like that. You also have uh, the roofs module, which causes the bell tower roof to disappear if you hover over it or if a player is standing inside of it. Um, and then you, I also use the token magic, magic effects module to create the, the subtle drop shadow effect. I like it, but it's not something that's required to make it work. And of course, there's multi-level token happening on this, um, this uh, map as well. If I open the church and go inside, I'll hear the ambient noise. I will also notice that there's a multi-level token hotspot that takes up the entire sanctuary area. It is a projection hotspot that will um, not only project your players to the other level, which you can see the player projected here, but if a player jumps down, they'll teleport back to the first level as well. So it also works as a one-way teleport. There's stairs on the two bottom areas, a stair going up at the top left and a stair going down on the uh, top right. Um, there's, you know, other things here, like there's some confessionals that have, you know, one way, um, if this is where the priest goes, the confessional, the confessional has a one way, um, uh, like door or wall going this way, but other players can't see who's on the other side, uh, just to have some fun with it. Um, if I'm going to show you what's upstairs, if I follow that upstairs, I have some bedrooms. And then I have a landing area. Um, if I follow these stairs, I've got an organ that can, you know, can, can't actually play it, but it's there. And then if you go up the other stairs, you'll find this set of bedrooms in a bunk type scenario. And it leads up to the bell tower, which has a big bell and you can walk around up there. And you can also wage battles on the roof if you'd like to. If you go down that staircase into the cellar, you've got storage and kegs of ale and things you'd expect to see. You've also got a door that's lockable, and then you get into the crypts themselves. These crypts are meant to be highly customizable. All of the tops come off of the crypts themselves, and you can also rearrange and do different things here. If you want human remains, or you've got a coffin uh, that goes with that one, um, but you've also got, for example, a staircase going down. So you get all of these be coffins, and then one has a hidden staircase under it. So you can check out what's underneath each one of these. And then of course you can just copy and paste these tiles or pull them out of the compendium if you'd like to make them all the same thing, for example. The other way that you can customize it is these rooms here. They are all um, hidden behind secret entrances so you can reveal them to your players or not. 
um, but they're changeable. So this one is maybe somebody's being smuggled through this church. This one is an entrance into uh, potentially a, um, you know, a sewer system or some kind of underground area. Um, this is a multi-level token hotspot that just has to be coded somewhere. So you just click on it, yeah, you give it a destination, some unique name, and then you can copy and paste this um, this diagram in this little uh, uh, journal entry into another map and your players can teleport there. But you can also um, have them, uh, instead of you know there being these two, you can have it be a you know a secret, maybe a vampire is living here, a uh, secret coffin. You can have it be blank. You can have it be treasure. The way it works is you can just drag these uh, these new ones on there. Oops. Let's move this up. You can grab this one. Move it out like that. Move that back. And, oops. There we go. You just have to lasso it the right way. And then you can move it to the back and it becomes customizable there. So that's how you use this map. Just to show you, there is a dark version of it, which is just really a darker motif. There's nothing that's materially changed besides the weather and you know, you'll see some crows flying by. Um, and then there's the unholy church, which does have some slight changes to the uh, decor, um, you've got these red glowing lights, you've got a very ominous, uh, which you can't hear now, um, music playing or chanting, you've got blood on the altar with some bloody footprints walking away. Um, I've created just more room for encounters because uh, theoretically you'll have more encounters in a space like this. And then down in the, uh, in the crypt, this is you know decidedly an encounter room, but it has the same elements that you could customize before. I did want to mention that you can swap these um, to each given side as well. If you want to switch the orientation, just do it negative. So negative 600, we'll switch it to this side and you can put the coffin over on that side and have something over here. So you can mix and match these things however you need. The last thing I'll mention is uh, you do have to have, um, if you notice, if I click on this here, it's, it's called stair. Uh, this journal entry, it's got some instructions. And if I right click this, you'll see that it's connected to stair. This means that you have to um, load the stair uh, journal entry from my compendiums. You'll find them in any of my compendiums, you'll find it called stair. You just put it into your world, it just has to live here. And as long as it lives there, these will be clickable by your players. Now, if you wanted to change those and make those only clickable by the GM, I have another one called GM only. It's also in the journal compendiums. Import that into your tab. And as long as it lives there, then you can uh, you can right click into here and select, you can't see it on here, but if you go down a ways, you can select GM only and it will recode that to GMs. What that means is that the, the GM only um, journal entry only has permissions to be viewed and interacted by GM. So your players won't even see it you as the GM have to click it to initiate the teleport. If you leave it as stair, then the players will be able to not only see it, but they'll be able to click the teleport and teleport themselves uh, between the levels. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys. And you know, let me know on Discord if you have any problems or find any bugs or weird artifacts out of place. Um, but that's it. Uh, good luck and have fun with the map.